I will show you three queries. One of them is efficient. You will have to help me out which query is efficient out of them. Hi there, this is Pinal Dave, and I welcome all of you to this another episode of SQL in the 60 seconds. I want to be upfront with you. This video is going to be little longer than 60 seconds. My client hired me to help them to do SQL Server performance tuning. They brought a query to me and asked me to write it most efficient way. Now there is a problem. What's the definition of efficient? Let me explain you this in detail with the help of demonstration. Now on the screen, I have three queries. All three queries are doing identical thing. They are finding top and bottom row from a table. The first query is using aggregate function min and max and the second query is using or in the query. Now the third query is using ranking function. Now here I want to ask you a very important question. What do you think which of these three query is the most efficient to retrieve top and bottom row from a table? Please write your answer in the comment section before you continue this video. First I'm going to enable execution plan by clicking over here or typing control M. Now let's run all these three queries together. Click on execution tab and in a brief moment you will see an additional tab of execution plan. It is very clear from execution plan that top query is 16% compared to rest of the batch whereas second query is 23 and the third query is 61%. The first query is the most efficient query if we are talking about execution plan. Now, how do you define an efficient query? By just looking at execution plan, we cannot really say that this is the most efficient query. We should check IO for that query. And for the same reason, I have already created a video about set statistics IO. I strongly recommend that you watch this video if you want to understand more about how set statistics IO work. Now, I have written set statistics IO on the top of the query and now once again I'm executing these three queries. Once the query execution is completed I will go to messages tab. Over here it is listed how many page read each of these queries has done. When we look at this result it is clear that top query has done 1800 page read whereas second query has done 2959 page read and the third query has done 13 13 page read. The result is in front of us. The third query which was most expensive in terms of execution plan is now emerging as a winner. That means our third query is the most efficient query in terms of IO read and if you have IO bottleneck the third query is the right query for you. Now when we look at the execution plan it was clear that the first query is most efficient. But when we look at statistics IO, it is clear that third query is the winner in terms of IO. It's quite possible that your client want your query to run fastest possible in terms of time. And for the same reason, I have already created another video about set statistics time on. I strongly recommend that you watch this video if you want to understand about how time statistics works. Now let's enable the same for our query and execute all these three queries together. When we look at messages, it is very clear to us that the first query has taken around 323 milliseconds, whereas second query has taken around 250 milliseconds. When we look at the third query, it has taken around 583 milliseconds. So when we look at all these three queries together, it is very clear to us that second query is the fastest most efficient query in terms of time. Now when we started this demonstration the first query was most efficient because it has most optimal execution plan. Later on when we check the IO our third query emerged as winner. Now when we are looking at total execution time our second query is emerging as a winner. So if you want your query to run fastest possible way maybe second query is the way to go. Now here I have one question for you. Did you guess correct answer 
for most efficient query. Now, let me conclude this real story. My client had a trouble with IO. I opted for method 3 in the beginning and later on when we did comprehensive performance health check, we fixed their IO bottleneck. At this point of time, now I am rewriting the same query with method 2 so they get fastest possible way result. Now, if you like what you see, please do leave a comment to this video because I read every single comment and answer them. You can also help this channel by subscribing, liking and sharing this video.